Welcome to another edition of Carbs. You're on Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad Zion here, going to alone to take a look at a brand new flavor of Pop-Tarts out for the Halloween season. But first, go ahead and subscribe to our gaming channel, Zion Mainframe Gaming, by clicking the annotation right there or going down in the description below for the link. If you like Let's Plays combined with our personalities, then that is the gaming channel for you, sexy thing. So, this is, uh, I've never seen this one before, actually. I think I've heard of it, but I've never physically seen it in my presence. This is Pop-Tarts Spookylicious Frosted Chocolate Fudge. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah, get open, see? Open up your box, see? Spread your legs from that side. So, Spookylicious. Interesting, this is the first time I've seen Pop-Tarts like, I don't know, this is the most extreme gimmick I think I've ever seen them go for. Because usually it's not this blatant. Here you go, that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna rip it open. Yeah, spread your legs, sir. I don't know why I'm like stuck on an old timey like thing going on here. There you go, you get a little piece of Pop-Tart out there, little birdies. That's what it looks like on the inside. Let's go ahead and try it, the Pop-Tart Spookalicious. Oh, wow. You, you can take that pretty racist pretty quickly. Uh, just Pop-Tarts, Halloween fun time. Yeah, that's kind of amazing. <laughs> that's really good. The fudge is actually, like, fudgy. It's not all solid, a little mushy action going on. That is really, really good. It's the same consistency you get out of like the strawberry ones, where it's not quite solid, it's not like liquidy or anything. It's just right. Oh my god, I need milk so bad. This is essentially fudge Pop-Tart, all the way around. I don't taste like any of the orange cream on the front or anything like that. It's just a fudge Pop-Tart, but the inside is delicious, outside's delicious. Everything about this Pop-Tart is really good. I would put this probably in my top five favorite Pop-Tarts of all time. It's just marvelous. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of people, of course, say we well, have to toast them. There's some people, too, that said that you should put them in the freezer for, like, an hour or something and, like, eat them, like, slightly frozen? I don't, I don't know how that would work. But, yeah, I, I bet it would be pretty good toasted. But, as is, this is really good. I give it a low five. It's really good. I would just have to be in the Pop-Tart mood because, good golly, Miss Molly... Wow, that was, that just dated me back like 80 years. It is just not good for you. I mean, these things are not. And the, the best of all time is easily the s'more and the cookie dough variants. But this is damn good, and I would get this if you see this. They have it at Walmart as we speak. What are your thoughts on the Pop-Tarts Halloween fun? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating. We'll see you in the next one. Reckless Eating! Reckless Eating!